Hi everyone, I'm Ilyan Panchev, Product Manager in the Developer Tooling Division of Progress. In this video, I'm going to show you Test Studio Dev Edition. What are its capabilities and how to get started with your first test as a developer. With Test Studio Dev Edition, you can craft web and WPF UI functional tests with or without coding. It uses the RIG testing framework and on top of it adds productivity boosting features and gives you the ability to add any logic in code using c -sharp or Vivi.net. So let's get started. Test Studio Dev Edition is a Visual Studio plugin. Uh, so here we are inside uh, Visual Studio and I'll create uh, a new Test Studio project. Here under the test category, you can select um, the test studio project you can either choose from visual c sharp or visual basic project i'm going with uh, c sharp this is my first test it is a good idea first to take a look at the test studio toolbar in Visual Studio. Here it is. Um, it has a couple of options to show the Element Explorer. This is our centralized element repository where all visual elements are, be record are being recorded. Uh, but I'll talk to that a little bit later. Uh, you can open the step builder for where, from where you can add any kind of uh, steps to your test and the settings of the project. First of all, um, it is important to calibrate our browsers. Here you can see um, you can calibrate or restore your original settings, of course, of your browser. This is important because um, there are some settings that may um, get into the way of uh, your test. So we want to make sure that the environment is properly set up. These uh, options can be also seen in the uh, Telerik uh, Test Studio menu here. So let's start with uh, test recording. Uh, test Studio Definitions Recording is a powerful tool not only for recording steps but for recording the visual elements and adding them into the centralized element repository. This is uh, way faster than uh, defining all the elements in code uh, manually and one and the same element can be reused by all tests uh, and in case of any changes it should be updated only on one place in order to fix all the tests that are using it so um, I want the recorder here you should uh, provide URL and select the recording browser uh, Test Studio also comes with uh, out-of-the-box uh, multi-browser support, so anything that I record in any of those browsers can be executed without any additional adjustments in um, any of the other browsers. So I'm launching Internet Explorer and I'll record my first test uh, against uh, CanDUI Grid. In the recorder, you can highlight all the elements uh, on your website and it is uh, very important to know that we have those so-called translators uh, for the Relic and CanDUI components. So all the controls and elements on the website that I built with these um, components uh, are exposed to Test Studio Dev Edition and to our recorder and this gives you uh, a lot more options for verifications of uh, any properties or attributes of uh, those uh, elements. So you can highlight any of your elements and uh, first of all I located in the DOM. Here you can see that uh, the whole DOM tree is being exposed, exposed for you to look at, uh, select elements, uh, add verifications uh, here, for example, for this data cell, we have some quick steps. 
you have verifications, um, wait steps, you can extract some information, some uh, variables from those um, elements. I'll add one uh, verification uh, from the quick menu, but uh, here you can see a lot more uh, things that can be verified from the visibility of the element to its content and uh, even uh, styling. Any element that is being used for action or uh, verification is recorded in the element repository or you can uh, add this element uh, manually. As I said, this is a very good feature that saves time uh, because instead of defining all the elements uh, manually by hand in the code, uh, you can just add them from here and after that you can access them uh, not only with recorded steps, but you can access them in code and uh, write any logic in code on top of those elements. So I will add a few more steps in my test. I would like to verify the content of this cell text contains owner uh, and let's stop here we don't need <coughs> many steps uh, just <coughs> for this demonstration but you should know that you can add a lot of stuff a lot of verifications any any actions clicks uh, input um, text typing into inputs I'll close the browser which uh, will stop uh, the recording and here you can see the steps that are being recorded navigate click on the grid here's a verification the important thing is that as i said you can record any steps uh, that's easy but the important thing is the elements here you see the elements that i used they are being recorded and they're using um, our unique our unique uh, way of identifying elements uh, through their attributes. Uh, you can update that, you can change it if you want. So if uh, anything changes on the website, if you uh, <coughs> change an attribute, here you can update your element and all the tests that are using it will get fixed. This test now can be executed in any of those <coughs> browsers. Once I have some recorded steps and elements, I can show you that you can do anything in code using our direct testing framework uh, in combination with uh, C Sharp or Visual Basic. First of all, you have several options. First is when you have recorded steps, you can edit a step or the whole test in code. So I'll transform this recorded step into code and you can see uh, what exactly code is being recorded for this step. Here you can add anything with C Sharp or Visual Basic, any logic. Um, you can also add standalone CS files and uh, if you have uh, some kind of uh, common common code that you want to use in all your tests, you can also uh, add external libraries. Uh, even if you want to use some kind of third-party framework um, like Selenium or something else, you can use it inside Test Studio. There's no problem. You can uh, import the third-party libraries and start uh, coding uh, here and using uh, uh, everything they can offer. So, so Test Studio gives you uh, a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, ways how to uh, do your automated tests. You can record in playback. You can add anything in code. I will very quickly add uh, one more coded step just to show you how easy it is to use the already recorded elements. That step will just click uh, one of the recorded uh, elements. Uh, 
that's the good thing about the recorded elements that you don't have to define them uh, somewhere else you can just use them from the um, element explorer uh, in code or in our step builder so I have to go to that page here which contains the element this one then I'll find the element I want to this, use this one and there is a lot of stuff that can be done with it I just want to click it so my code step is uh, ready and uh, it is in my code file if I want to add it here I can either use the already created code step or create a new one uh, so coded steps in this step builder should be added and once you add such step you can select which method it will uh, work with so if you want to add another coded step you have to use our step builder uh, which can to help you create all the steps that you can record but uh, do it offline so once you have some element you can add uh, any actions or verifications on e or anything uh, with those elements without even having uh, your web application live so in the cases where the web application is down for some kind of maintenance or being developed you can also create some tests that will work once the app is online I'll add another code step here. You can see that there is a validation. There is no method be behind it. But here, when I select the new, the newly created uh, code step, now it will be used here. In our documentation, we can find uh, our API reference, all the APIs that APIs that you can use with our direct testing framework we also have a set of uh, pretty common code uh, samples that you can reuse and once we have your first set of tests ready uh, you can execute them inside your continuous delivery pipeline uh, with our command line runner so test with definition has command line runner with it which can execute the tests as part of your continuous integration all test studio definition tests that you have created will also be added to the test window of Visual Studio. Here in the test explorer you can see the test that we already created. If I execute it, it will run and here you can see what, what we already did. We navigated to that CanDUI page, clicked on the grid, verified some values uh, in those cells and the result uh, is uh, passing if the result fail here you receive the error exception which you can investigate of course when you create your test you can just execute this one single test from the execute button inside our test window so these are the very basics of test your definition there is a lot more to explore and uh, I will show you in another videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.